Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. Last time, we started a war and had a fun musical number from Agent Super Bowl. And now we probably have the ability to stop Lincoln, but I wanted to try something first, because I think this is going to be a short episode, because I think we're right at the tail end of it. So I thought I'd show a little extra stuff off, some stuff we can scan. Mr. Spatula is only one year old, but this thing says he's two. Oh no, I forgot his birthday. Aw. Don't bother. I put a piece of cake in there one time and he didn't seem to like it. <laughs> Alright, how about the uh, plant? This thing says Hubert is 16 years old. I wondered why he was acting all sullen and unresponsive. <laughs> I don't want to know how old that is. This thingamajig says these donuts are only a year old. It must be using the calendar of the donut mold people's burgeoning civilization. That is the only logical explanation. Okay. And, uh, one more thing over here. Well, a couple more things. Seriously, guys, this guy is not looking well. Like, he's not even struggling or anything. That doesn't... He, he, I think he's gonna die soon. Wow, it says that Leonard is only 19 years old. Dang. Let that be a cautionary tale to the kids about spending too much time in casinos. It says Jesse James's hand is only 14 years old. I don't believe that. Yeah, well, I think that's referring to the fact that the came that we got that 14 years ago in the first Sam and Max game. All right, well that was fun. Let's uh, go back to the White House and finally see what is in the war room. Cause uh, we've been aching to get in there for quite some time. Oh, I d by the way, I did point out Where that we going, the DeSoto Sam? is designed now all presidential. I didn't even notice that before <laughs> until someone pointed that out. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Got like the the diplomatic flags and symbol and stuff, so we can park anywhere. I mean, they park anywhere, anyways. <laughs> Actually, I want to see how old uh, our little rat friend here is. I don't want to know how old that is. Oh, never mind. All right, the time has finally come. So let's go and open the door. Right, there's a dunce cap here. What is this? Uh Return to Monkey Island or Escape from Monkey Island. That's what it was. Hmm. Look, Max, in the White House garden pond. It's Jimmy Two Teeth. We often allow lobbyists to use the pool, Sam. Jimmy's a lobbyist now? What's he lobbying for? Cheese interests? Affordable health care for the aged and underprivileged, Sam. He's a lot more multifaceted than you give him credit for. Okay, wow. The Civil War in the Dakotas seems to be escalating, Max. Let them thin out the overpopulation of moose and strip malls for a few weeks, and then we'll step in. Hmm. It looks like Bismarck has fallen to the West Dakotan militia. Oh no! That will wipe out the country's crucial snow and slush reserves! Your compassion for your people is heartwarming, Mr. President. <laughs> All right. Ooh, cookies. It's a plate of fancy cookies. For the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. Hey, there's gourmet coffee. In case the idea of war makes you insufficiently jittery. I've plenty juice just being in here. Let's blow stuff up. Can we, uh, test the cookies? I don't want to know. Oh, hey. hmm. What to do in time of war? Select target, press fire. That's all it says. Well, I guess that's what we're gonna do. These must be for the Joint Chiefs and other quasi-important hoo-hahs. Nice screensaver. What does that say? Oh, it just says war. Looks like a remote homing beacon in the frigid Antarctic. So peaceful, so serene. Wanna blow it up? You have to ask? All right, fire. Dinner special tonight? Penguin flambe! Oh my gosh! 
Who would have suspected the Washington Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles? It's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo for once. <laughs> oh. I wonder if this will have a significant impact on our delicate ecosystem. Absolutely. My ego is bigger already. Oh, our ecosystem isn't that delicate. The homing beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy oh. former commie bastards, Max. So we can't fire There's on no them? There's no beacon for the missile to lock onto. Ah. Then we'll just have to do this the slow way. Lock and load, Sam! We're off to Red Square! Some other time, little buddy. <laughs> it's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! <laughs> Alright, let's blow up Krypton. This'll teach him to put me in the Phantom Zone. <laughs> You will bow down before me! So this is the true story of, uh... Aw. Aw. Then pull up a chair, little buddy. <laughs> well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right! We don't want to ruin the surprise! So, I bet if you go over there you can't actually tell him. Attention, Bosco shoppers! Clean up in aisle everything! Would you look at that? Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. Well played, Bosco. You're safe. But for how long? Well, that was interesting. I don't know uh, how that's going to uh, benefit us. This is just a senseless waste of taxpayer dollars. But it's undeniably fun, Sam! Well, if there's a beacon there, perhaps we need to grab it? Because uh, if we put a beacon, a beacon on Lincoln, <laughs> uh, we can maybe finally destroy him. Because yeah, it doesn't look like there's really anything else we can do in here. So I guess let's go see uh, Bosco. I'll just meet you there. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the shotgun. Okay, so I think the beacon's somewhere in here. Hey, Bosco. Ah! Um, nothing. See you later, Bosco. So yeah, we can't actually tell him about all this, but the camera was over here somewhere. Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. <laughs> All oh, right, I was right. I was I was worried. Back to uh, oh, well, let's go chase Lincoln now. I wonder if we can like beacon different things and see what happens. But oh well, let's. Uh, Where are we going, Sam? Not try to, and let's just After chase down Lincoln. Rampaging Lincoln. Yes. Oh, right. There's the beacon right there. That's what I was hoping for. So let's catch up with him.
Aha! <laughs> he can't get it. <laughs> nice toss, Max. We better act fast before he manages to knock off the beacon. Or choose his own back off to escape. Ow. All right. So, uh, let's finally destroy Lincoln. I'm sure in the credits we'll be treated once more to that wonderful war song. <laughs> oh, man. That was... I, I couldn't really find any words for her when that happened. That was... So wonderful and so bizarre. Alright, targeting computer. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, he'll have enslaved all of DC and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He can't, you're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. <laughs> For all do my bidding, I am the most powerful presidential monument ever created! <laughs> So awesome. Whee! That was better than feeding laxatives to pigeons on parade days! <laughs> we broke two presidents in one afternoon. A personal best! Well, it looks like the country is saved. At least from mass hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat! Sounds fun. But I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down to the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend! Agent Chuckles, report. Query status. Lincoln Gambit, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. 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 So, as you might have guessed, Chuckles was not working alone. And yeah, this was the end. Oh, and here's the song. <laughs> well, this has been a super fun episode. And we still have two more episodes to go. The next one, I believe, is called Reality 2.0. So that should be interesting. I can't wait to get to it. Anyways, that is it for the episode. So I'll leave you with this wonderful song. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.